this research is, is related to the need that we, we have to produce electricity from renewable sources. The energy source that we have in more abundance, mostly all around the world, is the sunlight. We need to convert sunlight into electricity and probably one of the most effective ways to do this is using photovoltaic cells. Some years ago, in 2009, it was discovered for the first time how efficient could be a mineral known as a perovskite. A perovskite solar cell is composed by several active layers deposited on top of a conductive glass substrate. The heart of the perovskite solar cell is a special perovskite semiconductor with unique features such as high charge mobility and very high sunlight absorption which make these cells as thin as 350 nanometers. After light absorption and subsequent charge generation, both negative and positive charge carriers are transported through the perovskite to charge selective contacts. The photogenerated electrons travel over the external circuit performing electrical work to the back contact. The perovskite solar cells promises to revolutionize the photovoltaic market because of their low cost. Low cost because it's a thin film uh, technology, so cheaper in terms of raw materials, but also uh, the deposition processes are very simple and cheap. So we produce our pair of sky solar cell at lab scale. We produce a lot of cells in order to test different types of materials and different uh, architectures. The way we deposit the materials at lab scale uh, is always using uh, spin coating. But the idea of this project is also uh, trying to do the upscaling of these devices. We started the partnership with Professor Adelio's team in 2008. The first project was developing a disensitized solar cell in which to obtain that the welding technology was developed to seal glass. And from that we, we progressed to perovskite solar cells. The technology is a good match for building integrated photovoltaics because they can be applied in building sidewalls and allow for the application of distributed generation in cities. It's not any longer green electricity. It's uh, what I call blue electricity. It's, it's uh, renewable and cheaper than the conventional electricity. And this makes a huge difference. 